Amaranth has been banned from Twitch. Okay, look, I'm just playing around, okay? I'm just playing. This is Cap, guys, this is Cap. But she did actually get banned. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Tom Dark channel. I'm your host, Tom Dark. Amaranth is a Twitch streamer most of you will know of. She's known for pioneering the hot tub meta streams where she would dress up in like a bathing suit or lingerie and just flop around in her inflatable pool. A lot of people liked this content. Uh, it personally didn't really strike a chord with me. I wasn't really into it, but I mean, uh, you know, more power to the people who watch it, I guess, and donate to see her write your name down on her leg. I don't completely understand the appeal, but I see why people watch it. I beat the fuck out of my dick. But with the nature of the content she was posting, she obviously also generated a lot of controversy because of her, you know, flopping around and very revealing clothing uh, in water and like, you know, shaking her ass and stuff like that. I mean, people, people were not completely okay with this being on Twitch. Some thought she should be banned. There was this whole save the kids argument there. Some people thought she would be hurting Twitch as a platform. Everyone was talking about this, including YouTubers like myself. Well, on May 19th of this year, I uploaded the Hot Tub Streamers Rant, which is actually the first commentary type video I posted to this channel. Despite the title and the fact that I kind of made fun of Twitch girls in that video, the video was basically a defense of the right for her to exist because I just think she should be able to do whatever she wants on Twitch, I don't really care, and none of the arguments for people who wanted her banned really seemed convincing to me in the slightest. It was all kind of bullshit to me. I was in favor of her having a platform and not being you know, wiped off the face of the internet, um, which is the case with pretty much everyone. You know, I don't want anyone to be banned. I'm pretty sure I defended Belle Delphine when she was banned from YouTube, and I still stand by that. I don't think she should be, uh, I don't think she should be banned. Amaranth actually commented on that video that I made, which was somewhat of a surprise to me considering my channel size and the views that video has, but hey, I'm glad you liked it, I guess. I'm glad you thought it was A-OK. -okay. Well, after the hot tub trend died down, she started making these ASMR videos with very, very suggestive titles that could probably get her into some trouble. She was pushing the line a bit, for sure. She titled things like Twins Licking the Mic, where she would have a, a pre-recorded version of herself next to her. I don't know, it's very weird content, it's not really my my cup of tea, my ball of wax, it's not really what I'm gonna get into. But obviously, you know, I know why people watch it. Uh, <laughs> Can't lie, I really don't understand the people who find this hot. Kind of makes my, my skin crawl with how good the audio quality is in the like five seconds that I had to listen to for this video. You coomers, you uh, you coom brains, you guys need to get yourselves under control a bit. But it seems like her detractors have reason to celebrate today as she was banned from three different websites in a 24 hour period. Amaranth has been banned from Twitch, Instagram, and TikTok as of the 8th of October, 2021. All of these platforms just wiped her at once. They were, uh, they were really sick of her for some reason. And believe it or not, no one really seems to know why. Uh, even she herself seems pretty confused as to the reason and why she was actually banned. She posted a video to her channel joking about the situation where she kind of, you know, in a tongue-in-cheek way says that she's aware she was being a little over the line controversial. I think she makes some jokes about being like a like a favorite among pastors, but it is clear from the video that she still doesn't know why she was banned. I don't know if I'll get Instagram back, and I'm trying to see why I even got banned on Twitch. I just I'm I'm a little confused. You know, my content is very family friendly. Her voice does not match her appearance at all, by the way. She sounds like she runs a- She sounds like she runs the yearbook club at a local high school. What the fuck is that? But anyway, she doesn't seem to know why she was banned from all these platforms simultaneously. And it's not like this isn't a big deal financially, obviously. She's losing a bunch of money. Normally, I'd say something like, okay, we don't know exactly how much she's losing off of this because we don't have access to her earnings. We don't know how much she makes per month. But thanks to the Twitch leaks, we do actually know exactly how much she made, which is $92,000 in September from Twitch payouts alone. That is so much money. Fuck my ass. <laughs> Fuck me. And all for this. You people are sick. I've tried looking around to investigate to see if anyone knows exactly why she was banned. Um, no one really seems to. There's no one clip that serves as like a smoking gun or anything like that. She's kind of been doing the same raunchy content uh, on Twitch for a while now. She knows what she's doing and she knows why she's popular. So it's not like she's, you know, super surprised, I guess, that she was banned. She seems to have somewhat accepted it actually. And, you know, is not really concerned with the tone she's taking in her video. Like I've been super, super tame lately. I don't, I don't quite understand, you know, after the whole bird mask debacle, I... Ooh. I toned it down quite a bit. Now I even sit in a chair 
sometimes. This is her fifth ban from Twitch after all, so she could be back in a few days. I honestly just want an explanation for why Twitch is notoriously inconsistent with stuff like this. Um, so it's likely we won't even get an explanation from them as to why she was banned. They're probably just going to shut the fuck up about it forever. But it is strange that they got rid of her on all these platforms at once. I'm curious why Instagram and TikTok decided to get her at the same time. Perhaps the most interesting part about this fifth ban from Amaranth is that it wasn't the only platform she was banned from over the past day. In addition to her Twitch channel being nuked from existence, for the moment at least, she was also banned from TikTok and Instagram. At this point in time, the only remaining major social channel that she has is on Twitter where she simply posted that she was banned everywhere. However, the bans in question don't seem to bother her, likely because she knows that in a roundabout way, the bans only bring more attention to her platform. And honestly, with all of them doing it at once, it makes me wonder if there is some coordination going on between these websites. There's only a few other times I can remember someone getting banned on multiple platforms at the same time, and that's only like, you know, we, I guess Alex Jones and maybe Leafy um, would count for that too. But these guys make completely different content to Amaranth, and you know, Alex Jones especially, like, it's not surprising to me that he was banned looking back um still don't support it but it, it's not surprising to me at all um but amaranth is like like what the fuck why i still think she should be able to do what she wants on twitch and these websites because i want to be able to do what i want there without facing repercussions uh i think a perfect world to me would be one where girls can show their tits on stream uh and people can make fun of them for it without either of them being cast into the shadow realm <laughs> sounds nice doesn't it hopefully she gets her stuff back only time will tell really and then she can get right back to uh you know the content that we all know and in love from her the content that that really is making waves in the community and improving people's lives Thank you guys for watching the video all the way to the end. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like if you liked it, dislike if you hated it, comment below with your thoughts, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.